Hello, my name is Donald Herman, and welcome to the video de demonstration for the Tier Team Acers entry for the 2011 Imagine Cup competition. As an entry to the 2011 Imagine Cup competition, Tier hopes to explore the theme of technology solving the world's toughest problems. As you follow the storyline in Tier, we will continue to bring up and em emphasize the core United Nations Millennium Development Goals, such as ending hunger and poverty and ensuring environmental sustainability. As can be seen from the artwork and design of Tier's storyline, we aim to share these ideas with a younger generation of players, but of course this game will also be fun and informative for all ages. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and start a new game. Hello, my name is Joshua Leong, and as the game loads up, we'll get our first look at Tier in Action. Tier is short for Technologically Efficient Adaptable Reformer. Tier is powered by nanotechnology, which can be used to solve this island's toughest problems. Later in this video, we'll begin to learn more about how to use Tier. Our game concept of Tier, in its truest form, is more like an action role playing game along the lines of the popular Nintendo title, Zelda. However, Tier also includes features that are similar to those found in real time strategy games as well as simulation games. In a nutshell, we have attempted to cross multiple gaming genres in order to bring a vibrant and what we hope to be a fun gaming experience for all ages. Hi, my name is Ben Chang, and I'm going to show you the combat system we have created for Tier. Tier can transform into a whole variety of weapons and tools to help solve problems in the game. A quick tutorial teaches us how to transform Tier into a sword so that we can fight the first boss in the game. Our goal in this level is to defeat five crabs before we fight the boss. Our first weapon to start off this game is a sword, as you can see me using to fight these crabs. However, we have also included the crossbow and shield ability for their usage to try out as well, although they will not be available until you gain them later on in the game. So I'll go ahead and defeat five crabs. After we defeated the five crabs, a huge crab with syringes and, and pincers has appeared. This crab contains a tier engram, which once defeated will give tier a new and unique ability. After defeating this crab, it has dropped what seems to be, yes, a syringe, which can be used to heal the sick villagers. When you pick up the syringe, a tier point shows up. A tier point is merely a quick background of a similar real life technology. Tier points will address the UN Millennium Goals and will hopefully allow players to learn a little bit about the technology around them while they play the game. Hello, my name is Tony Fan, and I will be dem demonstrating the new syringe ability Tier has gained from the previous scene. When selected, Tier will transform into a syringe, which can be used to heal the villagers. Let me find a quick, uh, find a sick villager really quick. Oh, here's one. A sick villager is denoted by a green shade on the villager's model. I go ahead and aim the syringe at him and use it. He is quickly healed and can return to work on the village. This is of course one of the UN Millennium Goals which we will be addressing. The villagers get hungry and you will, of course, be able to feed them. Quickly, I'll select the Feed Apple button. Once I find a hungry villager, I can aim and throw an apple at the villager to feed them. Of course, you don't want to spend all your time in the game feeding the villagers. In this demo, we will show you how to get the villagers to plant apple trees to obtain sustainability. After putting an apple seed in the supply tent, the villagers will enter and collect the seeds. After a while, the villagers will have planted a new apple tree. The apple tree will of course feed the villagers Fighting monsters, collecting food and supplies, healing villagers, feeding villagers, and promoting sustainability. You will of course help this plan of society towards improving. In the game, we have provided a visual display via the pause menu, which is called Society Points. As you feed, heal, and build up the town, you will gain Society Points. Once your Society Points meter fills up to full, you will be able to move on to the next level in the game, which will provide even more challenges for you to tackle and solve. As you continue to solve this world's toughest problems, we hope that you will have a fun experience, but also an educational one. Thank you for checking out our demonstration with Tier, and look forward to a full version in the future.